Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety, and today we're going to talk about emergencies. An emergency in the workplace is any situation that threatens the lives of workers, customers, or the public. The emergency can disrupt or shut down operations, cause physical or environmental damage, and can be either natural or man-made. Planning for all potential emergencies will help both you and your employees be ready for unexpected situations. You know, I used to look like that. I used to date her, but I broke up with her because she's crazy. The five most common things that can go wrong in an emergency are lack of communication, not working together, not having a plan, panicking, or not calling 911. In case of emergency, break glass. Ooh. That was our only way out. Looks like we're all gonna die in here. The window! I don't want to die with you people. Trash cans on fire. Really, Dave? Don't look at me. My cigarette's in my hand. Save minutes earlier. I hate this job. The problem with emergencies is they're generally unexpected. If we're not prepared, both physically and mentally, fairly simple situations can easily descend into chaos. That escalated quickly. By far, the best approach to managing emergencies is to prevent them from occurring in the first place. That's what the vast majority of safety training is all about. But when emergencies occur, we need to be able to expect the unexpected, stay calm, and take action to keep ourselves and others safe. This works a lot better when we have an emergency action plan. After all, if we fail to plan, we plan to fail. We're all gonna die! OSHA requires companies with more than 10 employees to have a written emergency action plan. While smaller companies with less than 10 employees can communicate their plans verbally. Here's what you'll find in an emergency action plan. How to report a fire or another emergency. How to evacuate in an emergency, including the type of evacuation and exit route assignments. Procedures for employees who remain to operate critical equipment. How to account for all employees after an evacuation. The name or job title of every employee who may be contacted by employees who need more information about the plan the procedures for employees following rescue or medical duties. Your company's emergency action plan will cover the most likely events that may happen in your location. Remember, these will vary widely by the location, type of work conducted, and other details. But here are just a few items that may be covered by your plan. Fires, storms, hurricanes, tornadoes, toxic gas releases, chemical spills, explosions, workplace violence events, active shooter events, and medical emergencies. To handle these situations, effective emergency communication is vital. We've seen what can happen when it's not. <laughs> because of that, there needs to be a way to communicate during emergencies using alarms or an intercom system that can provide instructions. Emergency, emergency. Please remain calm and clear the building. 
or the company should have a distinctive emergency. signal for different types of emergency. emergencies. Please remain calm and clear the building. This can be through the use of an alarm system, although for smaller employers it may make sense to use verbal communications. Like megaphones with simple instructions like evacuate or shelter in place. You need to know when and how to sound an alarm in the event of an emergency. Recognize when an alarm is activated, notify emergency personnel, and know what to do for each alarm type when it's sounded. For installed alarms, test alarms at the frequency required. Follow special safety requirements for both testing or restoring. One of the last, but certainly most important parts of planning for emergencies is making sure that medical assistance or first aid is available within three to four minutes of an emergency. Work sites more than three to four minutes from a hospital or clinic should have at least one person on site who's trained and available in first aid on all shifts and have medical personnel ready and available for advice and consultation. They also need to develop a written medical emergency procedure. Regardless of the location, it's essential that first aid supplies are available to the trained first aid providers, along with the PPE necessary to keep the first aid responders safe as well. As we saw earlier, very few people think clearly in an emergency. The best way to prepare for an emergency is before it happens, when you have the focus to come up with a solid plan. You lead the evacuation. The trash is on fire. You stay here, fight it. Follow me, everybody. Gloria? Present. Dave. Present. Oh, you got it out, guys. We've seen an emergency situation where everything goes wrong, and one where everything goes pretty smoothly. Although it might be fun to watch the ones where everything goes wrong, they're pretty awful. The best defense is to prevent emergencies. Be prepared for how to react if they happen, and then practice your response. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay safe. My fellow safety professionals, We've all been there before. We go into a new job thinking we're gonna take the world by the tail. We're gonna revolutionize safety. We'll right all the wrongs. But then reality sets in. Did you approve that chemical? Did you investigate the fire in the women's bathroom? Is this explosive? Between management and employees, incident investigations, insurance claims, policy updates, and OSHA rule changes, there's hardly time to keep up, let alone improve. That's why we partnered with Ving to create Modern Safety Talks.
So whether you call them safety talks, toolbox talks, or tailgate meetings, we can get great safety information delivered easily to your workforce. I'll show you how it works. Select a safety talk from your library. Assign it to employees. Choose how you want the training delivered. Email, text, or QR code. Watch employee progress on your dashboards and generate reports as needed. It's super simple. Let us take care of the content so you can go back to doing what you do best, keeping people safe. Check out the link in the description for more information.